you for being with us. You and Nicole were romantically linked for a long time, and you remained friends throughout her life. She told you a lot about O.J. Simpson before she was murdered. What sticks out in your mind? She told me about all the violence that predicated us meeting. Um, we actually had numerous instances of confrontation with O.J., um, face-to-face threats, um, stalking. But when I first met Nicole, she she clued me in on a lot of stuff that happened in the never prior. That she never really told her people. I think she's uh, partially embarrassed that she allowed it to happen. Um, she was trying her hardest to get out of the situation. So I unfortunately knew a lot of the horrible details about her situation and then lived it for several years up until her murder. When you say, Keith Zlomsiewicz, that you had numerous confrontations with Simpson, what do you mean by that? Well, it started, I met Nicole in the winter of 92 in Aspen, and I didn't know who she was when I first met her. I didn't really care. She told me that she was uh, divorcing her husband. He was abusive. So she started to fill me in on uh, that kind of thing. She knew I had the restaurants in Los Angeles, so I'd be visiting out there soon after the initial weekend that we met. So um, we connected immediately upon me arriving to town. And the first night or two, she came to visit one of my restaurants, Mets Luna in Beverly Hills. We had a big Tuesday night event that we did every week. Um, so she brought some friends and it started instantly. Um, the first night I arrived in town, I went to visit her at her house and we got 30, 40 nonstop phone calls, hangups. So we were convinced we were being watched immediately from that point. A night or two later, when she joined me at Metzaluna in Beverly Hills with some of her girlfriends, OJ showed up almost instantly, um, you know, came pulling up in his Bentley, and squealed the tires in front of the restaurant, slammed the door, came barging in right up to our table and slammed his fist down on the table and proclaimed that he was OJ Simpson and she was still his wife. So that was the first instance. And then it was followed by numerous other ones. Every time we went out, he would show up at whatever restaurant or bar. And then there's the famous night that he followed us home from uh, Roxbury. We were at one night and watched us engaging in an activity through the window of her house. Um, we both know that he tried to get in, but the house was locked and the alarms were set. And he approached the next okay, day. Wait, 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 Keith, it. Keith. I assume that this is the now famous incident where Simpson comes up to Nicole's house, and this is after they've broken up, and is looking in the window and sees you guys making out, kissing, and does a backflip, essentially. We were unaware that he was outside the house, but we knew that he had followed us that evening. We were at several different places, and he showed up at, at them all. So Nicole just looked at me at one point and said, let's just go home. So we went home. Um, we engaged in some activity in the downstairs living room, unaware of outside watching us. We found out the next day when he showed up at the house and her and I were in one of the back rooms and he burst in the door, got in my face, started threatening and screaming and yelling and you know, tried to get her alone, which she was standing behind me. I was in between the two of them. So uh, she was holding my hand and I could feel her trembling. Um, it was just a, it was a volatile situation and it could have gone either way. He wanted to be left alone with her and I wasn't, I wasn't having any of that at that point. Um, I was aware of what had happened in the past. So I was scared for her safety and obviously my own. So we argued for several minutes until she convinced me to wait outside the door, but stay close. She made it very clear, stay within earshot so he could, you know, read her the riot act as he's used to doing. So that was the day after he watched us through the house. And I could hear him screaming, you know, how he watched us through the window and he followed us home. So uh, it was a bad scene. 